Hello and welcome to Maxi's Fun Time. This is Maxi, and we are back here on Dire Wolf 20, 1.16 a pack. Uh, first things first, if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. It really helps out the channel with YouTube views, YouTube searches, the YouTube algorithm. If you subscribe to my channel, make sure you go to my page, hit the notification bell, set your settings inside the notification bell. You'll get notifications every time I upload a video. You can come check it out, see if you like it. If you do like this episode and you want to share it with your friends, tell me what you like. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook Twitter, where we do social media. There's also links there to social media sites. So, the most popular one you use, you can get it going. Uh, with that being said, I recorded a video yesterday. We did not get to record Halo yesterday. We're going to record Halo today. Our um, my new game that I'm starting is going to start Monday next week. Um, but the sound didn't come through yesterday. And I seen a comment while I was uploading today's video that there was no sound. Now, I understand if it wasn't recording my mic, but it wasn't even recording game sounds, which was weird. And I checked all my settings. So all my settings in Windows were still having everything going through my headset. And the mic was set to my headset. So what I had to do was go into OBS and set everything from default, which should have been system default to actually record through my headphones. So the mic is set to headphone mic and the uh, audio from the computer is set to record everything that goes through my headset. I don't understand why it didn't do that. My only guess is uh, yesterday before I recorded, there was a Windows update and that probably messed up uh, OBS. I'm guessing I'll need to update OBS to get it to uh, work right with the new Windows update. I don't know. We'll see. But right now, it is recording. And uh, what I'm going to do is real quickly go through and show you everything we did on this episode. That's the best I can do, guys. I can't put two videos up. I, I left the other one up. I'm going to leave it up so you guys can at least see um, what happened in that episode. And I put a note on that description of the dungeon run yesterday. Which I'm really sad about because that was some good commentary. Um, but the dungeon run is still valid. And I do want you guys to be able to see what I did in that episode to get all the supplies and stuff. So, leaving that one up. It is no audio on that one. I've noted it in the description. I've stopped uploading the one from today. And I'm going to do an update video now. And uh, we'll go over everything that I did. So, we decided that we was going to go ahead and set up our... Um, wireless network because we got a crap ton of ender pearls so what I did do is we went downstairs we took a piece of obsidian I'm gonna show you guys this so you guys will know what the heck and I'm not no we're not doing that get in there um, I will keep you with me and uh, I'll get another stack of uh, redstone out so I can show you guys this. So the first thing we need for the flux network here is this stuff. All right. So I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to go back down. I set everything up downstairs. This is why we stop it. This is why we dug down to level 10 so we could actually go down there and do this with the flux network. Um, it is lit up now. It wasn't lit up before. Uh, what, we, what you want to do is you want to place an obsidian block, one block above the uh, um, in this is bedrock, and then um, we want to drop a stack of or how many you want. I'm doing a stack right now of uh, redstone, and then you left click. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and get this back up. There we go. So that's how you make that. And then we put this into the inventory system, which is upstairs. There we go. Put you into there. Now, then we made um, 
the uh, actual flux controller. The flux controller is made with one flux core, which is this recipe here. We know how to make ender eyes. That's just uh, ender pearls and blaze powder. And uh, obsidian around that, and then the flux dust I just showed you how to make, and that makes those. And then use those to make these, which is flux dust and four cores. Um, I kind of wish this would make more than one, but you have to actually make, this is four ender pearl, eyes of ender per block. So this is kind of expensive, which is why we needed ender pearls. I mean, ender pearl production. But I, I got enough to actually set this up, so that's what I'm, that's what I'm happy about. So, <coughs> excuse me. And you need five of these and two flux, and that gives you the flux controller. So we brought that downstairs. I set that up right here. Uh, I went to add network here. I'm not going to add network, but this is what I did. Uh, you have to switch encrypted here to another one. I went to public and then you hit create. I changed it to green. I'm not going to do that but because uh, I already got one set up. And um, then we made one of these, which is a basic storage here and uh, the basic storage here is four flux, six flux blocks and two window panes now the upgraded versions take six of the the lower version so I had to make in order to make the one that has 8,000 8 million capacity I have to make six of the flux network here which takes five each of these you understand or six each of these that's a lot of ender pearls. It's basically six ender pearls per this. So this one's going to be six times six. So, like, I, I'm going to have to get go to the end in order to upgrade this. And I want to get to this one right here. We'll probably put this in our auto crafting bench. I let it auto craft. But, uh, I'm going to have to get to the end in order to do that. Um, and I made uh, one each of these and this one and this one. Here, I put a uh, flux plug on the end here so it could have power from our network, and I wanted it down here underneath so everything else in our base would get powered first, and then our flux uh, network gets powered after everything else. And uh, that was basically that. Now, the reason we wanted to do that is because we wanted to have cows. And I'm going to go over there and show you, but I did need to make this for a range upgrade. This is the dissolution chamber. Here, we're going to go ahead and switch our uh, tags here to industrial foregoing. And uh, distillation chambers right here. It's plastic, a chest, uh, a pitiful frame, two buckets, gold and diamond gear. And we made the uh, times eight upgrade, which in a I counted and I thought I needed uh, plus one plus eight. I didn't, but uh, I did go ahead and make this plus eight. I really don't need that one. I could probably downgrade it a little bit. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, and then I made a farming unit. Up here, animal feeder. I made an animal feeder which is golden carrots, a golden apple, which I had from the exploration, uh, pur pur more purple dye, iron gear, and another pitiful frame. And I set this up. We're so we're going to go over there, and I'm going to show you how I set this up. I also made a warp stone and a waystone. So the, I'll show you how the warp stone works in a minute, but if we go to uses here, uh, this is the recipe for creating the waystones and... Um, this is the recipe for actually creating a warp stone and what you do with the warp stone. And no matter how many of these warp stones you make, they all have the same timer. Just so you guys know that. So we're going to click on that. Just hold it, hold the right click down until you get the uh, options here and then you click on it. And uh, there we go. I did try to get some... Uh, Fancy dirt, so we could put it over here. I left that on too. Let's, let's take that off. As you can see, this is way too big. We could we could downgrade this. Uh, let's take that show area off. But it it'll 
as you can see it's making things i did bring uh weed over here i made bales i put the extra bales in my inventory here right here i made them into bales and then brought the weed over here and then what i've done here is underneath there is a uh um storage drawer one of the two by two storage drawers i've set a uh botany pot on top which is producing uh stuff i'm probably going to have to come back here and put a uh void upgrade in there so it avoid the seeds but uh and then have it uh it pulling out of here and putting it straight into here which is always going to keep this full of wheat while it uh uh breeds these cows and what the objective here is to get this thing full of as far as i can of cows and then what we're going to do is we're going to set up a second area over here to pull the babies out and put over here and then i'm going to set up um a uh, processing uh to process the ones here um there's no way to detect babies i don't believe so what i'm going to do is probably just every once in a while before the video starts, I'll probably come over here and turn it on and then turn it back off once it's taken care of all the adult uh, cows. Uh, that's probably how I want to do it for now. Uh, there's no... I, I don't know if there's a way to, to get the machines to detect whether it's babies or not before it slaughters them. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, so that's that. And then that'll give us leather and it'll also milk if I want to do milk. We can put a couple of sheep in there too, just so we can have some wool production, get everything sent back to our base. Um, the, another thing, I tried to do some improved grass with the overgrown seed, but Silk Touch won't get it up. So, or it wasn't, it wouldn't work with my Silk Touch. Another right pick. I'll, I'll have to say that. Let's put this on. And I came down here and showed you guys the progress on our lava production as well as our area here. Uh, we can't build here until it, it's finished and it's at 33 which is over halfway. We're waiting for it to get to 64 and saying it's done. But right now we're at almost 2,000, almost 3,000 buckets of lava. So I'm going to go slash home for now. We're, we're going to not use slash home soon. That was our basic episode. I'm really sad that none of this stuff recorded. I don't know what caused it. The episode the day before was fine. So I've, I've checked it. I'm going to check a couple more episodes to make sure that uh, they're fine with the audio. But uh, the only thing that would change is the uh, system updated the graphics, uh, the graphics driver and also Windows had an update. So I'm assuming the Windows update probably caused the issue. That's the only thing I could think of. Um, I think that's about it for now, guys. This guy's, this guy here is full. I'm going to leave him full because I want some extra production of latex. So he's going to fill up with 16 buckets. And then it's going to fill up our whole system here. And then we'll probably pull that out and make some more plastic. I don't need automatic plastic production. I just need it for whenever I whenever I get it. So um, we get a large amount in our back stuff there, and then I'll pull all that out and put it in our system here, and then we can make latex when we want it or rubber um, plastic when we need it. I don't. <clears throat> I don't understand why this is zeroed out. It's kind of weird. Um, and the last, the episode before that, these two guys here, what, turned around. I've got a chest here with, uh, this is going to be my enchantments chest. That's why I made it an obsidian chest, just so it looked different. And I got a diamond chest in here for all the stuff that I need to process. Um, you can go down here and you can go down here. So all this stuff I'm going to process back into, uh, ores and stuff probably nuggets and then all these I want to strip all the enchantments off of these and then uh, we'll put them we'll uh, then do we'll do that with them here and I've got some more in my pack that I need to get rid of um, I think that's about it
Oh, I set up a waypoint over at one of the spawners I set up for XP gain. So, there's that. And I've got this thing up here, grinding stone, to let me take levels off of stuff. If I just don't want the enchantment. Um, I'm not going to do any other things today. I just wanted to update you guys about the video. Um, it's sad that I have to go through and do this. Because, uh, like... Basically, I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> I, I recorded the day before, and it was fine, and I checked the audio then, and uh, I just updated um, yesterday's video. I just recorded it and updated it, and I went to watch it after it got updated, because I like to see the, uh, the video. I don't know if I did that yesterday. I usually do that every day when I upload. I'll, I'll, I'll pull it up on YouTube just to make sure that everything is right with the upload because sometimes they glitch out and stuff so and I can't check my version here from from the yesterday's video because I usually delete the versions on my computer after I upload them to YouTube so just to save space so but I did check today's version while I was uploading I went ahead and checked it there's no audio on it so that's where this video has come from I'm really sorry about that guys I will start checking before I upload to make sure the video actually has audio for on it. Um, anyway, guys, if you like this episode, make sure you smack the like button. It really helps out the channel. If you subscribe to my channel, send you notifications when I have new videos out. You guys can come check it out, see if you like it. If you do like this video and you want to share it with your friends, tell me what you like it. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. If you have any tips, tricks, or comments, post them in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on social media pages. Don't forget to set your notification settings for the channel using the notification bell. Um, I did this, I don't know if I did this on the last episode, or I did it right before the last episode. But I made this ender pouch, and I've set it up to automatically import into our system. So when we do, we do ore runs, or we do dungeon runs again, uh, it'll probably be off camera. I won't do many of those on camera. But I've got a system here that just pulls it straight into our inventory system here. And as you can see, we got we got obscene amounts of... Uh, space here and I'm going to probably fill these up with 64 bits ones so we never run out of room. Uh, anyway guys, I'll see you guys later. Oh, let's go back over there and set this uh, thing up because I didn't do that. I didn't get to do that in the last episode and I really want to. Yeah, I always like to put a uh, pressure plate in front of our thing here. Anyway, guys, see you guys later.